okay uh, welcome back guys so i just went and made some corrections for the made some corrections for the proportion of these uh, boots so proportion feels right now and then i just created a a cube just to kind of get a better idea as to how the boots is resting on the floor so this this should be fine for now then there's just some things I need to change because I need to start working on the garment now for the character but I need to prep up this scene before exporting this to substance paint or to rather to marvel designer or to Maya before I start moving this to marvel designer to start creating the garment for this so I'm going to selecting the model itself the main character itself I'm going to let me just rename this to just name this to African male okay I'd like to make some corrections on the tie on the laps so let me just put this a bit inwards like so okay yeah that, that should be fine so I'm going to export out this model now as an as an OBJ including the including the boots also so to turn export for this let me just look for a good subdivision level to export this out and subdivision level one should be fine let me see okay so let me go to subdivision level one. Subdivision level one should be fine. Then all I have to do is to go down to export. Smooth normal should be turned on. Group should be turned off. And I can export this out as an OBJ. So let me just create a new folder and then I'm going to name this folder Z export. Z export the exports okay uh, so save now I'm going to do the same for the boots also so alt click on the boots let's see okay subdivision level 5 should be fine Division level 5 should be fine. I only need this top part of the boots. Use this part of the boots that is actually necessary for me to use. I don't really need the bottom so I don't really need the so So I'm going to export this out also. Turn off group, make sure smooth number is turned on. Exports boots main. That's fine. Then I'll just I'll just bring this into I'll bring this into Maya. This is the initial scene we had before our base map before exporting it to subtitle to ZBrush. So let me just hide this guy Ctrl H to hide this. Then we have the then we have this inner I think it should be let me kind of control one to kind of see the inner eyes we still need to kind of replace this or kind of put this where it should be so for now let's just bring this let's just bring our model in you know it's supposed to be z export z export Okay, so select this two. I'll just drag this in. So they're in there now. So control one to go out of this. So see, we need, we need to do a lot of fixing up, especially for the eyes. Let me just try and 
Let me, okay, I need to export the I need to export the eyes also the outer eyes for this. Let me export this. So this black like a place so that to give me a clear idea on how to place the inner eyes. Kind of group exports. Let me just name this to Z outer eyes. Okay, that's fine. So back in here. Let me just let me just clean this up by naming them properly. Now just drop in the eyes and name this. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to try and make sure the let me ID this also. Control H. Let's try and make sure this inner eyes is more or less in the right place. So go to wireframe. I'm just trying to get this in the right place so I'll come back when I'm done getting this in the right place okay so we're done fixing that I would just like to give let me just give everything okay so we have the boots the numbers of the boots are in reverse let me change that so I'll just go to face mode, select all these faces, shift right click and hold. Then reverse normal. Sometimes sometimes it doesn't work from that from that part. So let me just do this up here. Still not working. Reset reverse. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now all I have to do is just select all of this apart from the eyes, though. Probably everything down here. I think just the human body and the boots. I'm going to export them as OBJ. So that's what I'm going to be using instead of Marvelous Designer to begin to create our begin to create our garments on top of this. So I'll just export this out. Export selection. I can still keep it in that same folder as the export. Now I'll probably give this a different name. Okay. To be on as OBJ, to be on OBJ file, OBJ formats. Uh, what should I name this as? Okay, let me just name this MD African male avatar. Just to be more precise so I can easily identify what this is in case I want to use this for, for later. Okay. Let's check this. Let's see if this has been exported correctly. It has it can be that's fine. So now I'm going to open up Marvelous Design and begin to import this in and see how, how everything works. So, but before I do that, let me just give this. 
let me just select all of this and give this a bit more shiny material to it so let me give it a bling material probably just darken this a bit more something like this should be fine okay so now let's just import our model in here so i'll go to file I'm going to use add and i'll click on avatar then i'll just paste our directory in here md should be this one so I'll open this it should be fine cmdr studio is fine open that's fine okay if it looks good i'll just click ok so this should import our model into the scene with the boots let me see if we can just change the change the color of our model to something else yeah something like this should be fine So around there should be fine. Okay. I'll click OK. Let this piece also. I'll do the same thing in there. Probably even choose a darker tone to that. Click OK. Alright. Now this is fine. Maybe we can add some reflectivity to it. Okay. Just to make this feel a bit more shiny. Well, for this one, not so much. Okay. That's fine. So we have this guy in here. Now everything is correct as it should be so let me just do a quick save for this so in the next lesson we're going to be kind of creating the garments for this i'm actually i'm thinking of creating a pullover for for the for like an inner an inner shirt for him then creating this um almost like a jean jacket on top of everything then we're going to be giving him some some jeans too then it's going to be short arm gym just similar to this one with the reference we have in here from riley from last of us so i'm going to see you guys in the next lesson bye for now